Hi, and welcome to Secrets of a Self-Talk Cook. I'm your host, Fernanda. If you're new to the kitchen, learning how to cook meat, beef, poultry, chicken, all of that can be really hard. It might feel like you need to learn a whole new vocabulary. Do not fear. I'm here to teach you how to saute, poach, and bake all of these three kinds of meats. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to show you how to saute some beef. You want to make sure that your stove is on medium heat. And then you're going to cover the whole pan with olive oil. Just drizzle a little bit on the pan. So you want to make sure that it covers the entire pan like this. Maybe while your oil is hitting, you can cut the beef into two inch strips. It looks something like that. I already have it pre-cut. You're going to set it on the side. And then you're going to start grabbing them and putting them on your pan. Make sure that the fat side is up. Also, it's better if they're not touching because that will make it um, much easier for them to cook. I mixed some spices over here, some garlic, some um, pepper and salt. So I'm just going to add it right on top of the meat just to give it a little extra flavoring. You don't want to marinate it too much so that you don't lose the actual flavors of the meat. So once they're done, you want to make sure that they're pink on the inside but brown on the outside. Make sure that you have a fresh, clean plate, one that didn't have raw meat in it. And then don't be afraid to jam your spatula in there and drizzle a little bit of the oil out. Take your pan off the heat. Make sure that your spatula is not on the heat as well. And there you have it. You can use these for stir fry, for fajitas, anything that you like. Sauteed beef. Now on to the shrimp. You want to make sure that you fill about halfway through a medium-sized pot of water. And then you're going to get your spices together. Here I have some garlic, some cilantro, and some salt. You're going to add them into the water. And then you're going to squeeze two half lemons into the pot. I de-seeded these before. And then just drop them right in. And then turn your water on to high. If you have a lid, that'll make it boil faster. And then just wait for it to boil while you prep the shrimp. So you want to make sure that you turn your heat down to medium. And then you have your shrimp. I bought mine de-veined and unpeeled. You want to make sure that you leave its tails on because that's actually what gives the most flavor. You're going to grab them one by one and be very careful in how you put them in so that the water doesn't splash on you. The way to tell that shrimp has been cooked is when it's pink. It should take about five minutes for them to turn pink and the tails to curl up. And once you think they're done, they look something like this. Just grab a slot of spoon and a clean plate and just scoop them out. Poaching is especially good for fish, but it also works for poultry, especially when you're going to put it in a salad. Once you know for a fact that all of your shrimp is out there, you can just scoop one of the lemons out and just wait for it to cool. It'll take about 10 minutes. So now we're going to bake some chicken. Baking means to cook under dry heat. I got my oven preheated at 400 degrees, and I washed these pieces of chicken under cold water and then patted them dry. So I laid them out on this baking sheet, and now what we're going to do, we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of olive oil. Don't be afraid to get your finger in there just so that you don't get a huge puddle on them. And then you preset some spices, like the ones I have here. And what we're going to do is just going to sprinkle them on both sides. You can choose anything you want, really. I have some garlic, pepper, maybe some dried onions, but if you're into curry, you can definitely do that. And then turn them around and sprinkle the other side. And then you just want to make sure that you leave the skin on the right side up before you pop it into the oven. Okay, we're all set. In. You want to leave it in the oven under 400 for about 30 minutes and then turn it down to 350 and leave it for about 15 minutes more. You'll know when it's done when the skin is about a golden brown color. You cut into it and it's perfectly white and there's no bleeding. So there you have it for today. Three different ways of cooking seafood, meat and poultry that are essential to any cook's repertoire. I'll see you next time on Secrets of a Self-Talk Cook. I'm Fernanda and I had a great time cooking with you today.